What is up everybody? Welcome back to another quick video. Excited to start getting some content on the Harley going. A few small mods, nothing too big, uh, but excited to get some slow progress going on that and move forward. Big shout out as well to KMN. Uh, they are officially a partner, at least for the next like four months or so. So very excited to be partnered with them. Um, right now they're running a promo. Uh, free shipping over $25 as well as uh, discounts on fuel and air filter. So check them out. Through the month of May, uh, I do have one for my truck as well as they did hook up a cabin air filter. So let's jump right into it and get those installed. Don't drop these, Kyle. Do not drop or lose these. Easy peasy. Gross. Make sure to clean that out and wipe it. Get all that residue and nastiness out of there. If I was a betting man, I would bet I hit a bird. As you can see, my filter was in dire need of being replaced. Even showing the wife Subaru a little bit of love here. All right, what we'll be doing the rest of the video is just a few small things on the bike to kind of get it going. We'll be taking this reflector off the rear license plate mount. Ooh, don't want to scratch it. So it's like that typically, removing that reflector will make it look a lot better. Gentle. I'm also gonna be putting in LEDs and smoked um, covers basically. To get this off, it's just two bolts, what was it, 13 millimeter? So we got that going, uh, as well as swapping the front out to smoke lenses and LEDs. And it's super easy to pop these off. Um, I'm sure you guys know, there's just a little bit of tab to kind of fit a flathead screwdriver in there. So what I did was just a rag and a flathead, pop them off quick and swap them out. Well, day two, I failed you guys. Not only did I not charge this GoPro, I didn't charge the other two batteries, but you can see there how much better it looks without that red reflector, black uh, smoked caps are on, and onto the front now. After the front, we have some like MX style parts pieces to go on, uh, matching black reflectors for the sides of the bags, stub stubby antenna, and then some hand guards.
But on to day three, gonna get these hand guards on. Everything's kind of laid out quick. I will show you, looks way better with the smoked caps on the front. LEDs look really good too. I'll kind of show you in flashing maybe after I get the hand guards on. Blacked out the side reflector, which looks nice. Not much, just a little cleaner. Hand guards will definitely dress it up more, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so the fairing and top piece is off. Top piece, super easy. You just lift it right off. So just pull up a little bit and you'll feel it, the clips pop. Um, wiring for the turn signals. Uh, right side right here, obviously left side right here. It's nice that they keep them up on the top and open. Uh, now I just have to find the best way to run the wires after I mount um, the hand guards on it. I did already take my mirrors off. I'm not gonna be putting the chrome mirrors back on. I have black ones coming. Um, next thing I need to do is pop the pin for the levers and I can get um, the hand guards mounted. Now to get some wiring done. I popped off my gauges quick just because it's easier to access and feed the wires back through there. Quick tip for you guys, I didn't know how to do this and had to look it up, um, but to take the lock off, there's a little detent pin right here on the back side. Kind of easy to see now when it's off. All the videos I saw didn't show it, so it's kind of super easy. If you see it there, springs in there, as you can see. Um, so all you gotta do is Turn all the way, your forks all the way to the left is, I think, the easiest. Um, turn it all the way to unlock. And at that point then, you push in the detent pin and it releases it. And then you can turn it a little bit to the left, counterclockwise past unlock. And then it pops right out. Very easy. And then you can just pull that out to access behind it. Here we go, fishing the wires. If you have tie wire like I have or some kind of rod, you can fish it right through, basically from the left uh, clutch side of the bike. And then you can see it right there sticking out. So now all I gotta do is hook the wire through and pull up um, the loose wires that I'm gonna tie into right here on the factory wires. Boom! Look at that beast. All wired in, so I'll give you a quick tutorial if you guys wanna use this too. Purple is for your signals. I haven't tested the signals, but obviously I'm getting power to them, so I just have to flop the cords or the plugs, if anything. So purple signal, black ground, blue is your running. So signal, signal each side, and then I just pick to run everything off the left side. Um, blue, power, black, ground. So let's do a quick test on the turn signals and see if I got them correct, and I don't. So that should be the left. So now I know just to relabel them um, and I'll put little tape on those just so I know when I tuck all the wires in and put it back together, I'm plugging into the right side. But there she is, guys. Looks sick. Super stoked. Okay, everyone, moment of truth. How good does that look? Very impressed with how well everything went together. The only thing I don't like is this little bit of wiring showing. So I'm going to either get some black tape on that or put it in some wire loom and just try to shrink it quick to help hide that. But everything works great. I'll show you the right turn signal since I'm on the side. I like how the left side still stays lit when that turn signal's on. But damn, hopefully this video is helpful to anyone else that wants to try to run these hand guards. I know I didn't see another video out there, so like, subscribe, stay tuned. I think next we're gonna do exhaust intake and maybe a quick little power box, little tune on it. So stay tuned.